do not like this. Pat! There's no scary in this, is there? There's no scary, surely. What's this? Cassette case. Bratmobile. Potty mouth. <laughs> cool. Oh, that's cool. Love thing. Stab. Cherry bomb. Throw away. Product. Some special. Fuck your fans. Polaroid baby. Panic. Bitch theme. Richard Cool Schmuel. Just wanna kiss and ride. No, you don't wanna. You don't, Queenie. You're gonna like this one for Sam. All right. I guess it's she's weird in the band. Out with girls. Isn't it just? Daniel was around ever since I was little, and other girls? I don't know. But being around Lonnie is like instantly just right. <laughs> I gave her the grand Psycho House tour, and took my revenge on Super Nintendo. And it was like I don't know. I finally found someone I feel normal around. Mm. I drove her home, and she gave me this tape and said. You have got to listen to this. I wish that's her friend that did that tape. I haven't stopped playing it since. Hmm. To whom it may concern. I, Samantha Greenbrier, am 17 years old and therefore, therefore an independent, fully functional human being. The fact that you still forbid me from going into the city on my own is frankly absurd. Compare with Katie, who is only three years older than me, and yet you allowed her to go all the way across an ocean to another continent on her own. I just want to spend an evening in a normal, totally safe city on my own, like a human being. And since you may also remember that I have my own car now, you can't really stop me. Warmest regards, your daughter, Samantha. Oh, you naughty Samantha. Should we go in her room? She does leave everything on, though, look. Doesn't she? Turn that shit off. Aha! Bratmobile, cool schmool, should we listen to it? While we search, search the room. Lee moves. This is terrible. At least sing. Oh, it's a heart. Right. Shut up. Put it in the TV. Yeah, can anyone else do those? You've got to try and stare through the TV, uh, through whatever you're watching it on, and then you can see like a. Yeah, you know, like your eyes adjust to it, and it's you can see a sort of shape. I can see a big heart. See if you can see that. Let's have a look at the other one. That's a shark. That's really cool. I love those things. They're brilliant. So clever. No idea how they work, but you know. Oh man, that's really cool. Right. Oops. Super Spitfire. Journey of Crystal. I wonder if those exist. Case Sync presents. Mm. Oh my god! Ugh. No monsters on the ceiling are there. Better freaking not be. Uh, oh, look at that. Man, Sam had this in like fourth grade. Board game. Got your number. Okay, that's a shit board game. I want to play the one downstairs. I don't care about leaving these open. King's Labyrinth. Captain Allegra still in her flowing skirt. Oh right, well I'm not going to read this all the way through, but she's still writing. She's still writing about Captain Allegra. She seems to quite like it, doesn't she? And they seem uh, fairly good. Special, adorable, merry, affectionate, nice, thoughtful, honest, admirable. I wonder if that really is what she'd like. Um, yeah, so I don't think... Oh! Fuck! Off. I heard someone whisper hello then. You heard that, didn't you? <laughs> That's very silly. Oh, enter combination. Zero, four, five, one. Zero, four, five, one. Open. No? All right. So we're going to have to try and find her combination, aren't we? Don't know where the hell we're gonna find that. 
Open the drawer. Magazine. Groove. Sex and stuff. I should didn't say sex, did it? Oh, sorry. It's an eraser. A rubber, as we call it. What can I rub out? Can I rub anything? I want to believe in aliens. I do believe in aliens. IRL, seriously. Let's turn all the lights on, I'm scared. Here we go. Right, what's on this desk? Another badge. The Misfits. <laughs> Nail polish. Nailed it. Emery board. Nail file. Okay, well, this is all very nice, but it doesn't tell me what her password is, does it? Oh, hello. Sam, I think the creative writing track would be perfect for you. Mrs. Blah, blah, blah. Oh, English creative writing. Three students from each track will be offered a full scholarship for their first year at Reed if they decide to attend the university. Oh, so maybe she's really going in for that sort of thing then, which is quite cool. Oh, hello, what's this? Look whose dad is weird. Okay. Millet. Can I read anything in here? Disciplinary. Oh dear, Mr. Benchley observed Mr. Soto. Who's that? Yolanda de Soto. Wearing a t-shirt with an unacceptable image on the front. A large beer can labelled Pub's Blue Ribbon. She's sent to the guidance counsellor's office. She was given the option to turn her shirt inside out, change into a shirt from her gym locker, or to be suspended for the rest of the day. She chose suspension. Good girl. Father was called, but there was no answer in the answering machine. She must return this form tomorrow, signed by her father. And it's ended up in Sam's bin. Great. You want to believe. Right then. What if I throw that? What's this? I'll put that over there. It's Steggy. Steggy. I want to get into your locker, woman. KSNC. Alright, let's have a look in here. Don't be a ghost! Okay. Oh my god. The hell? You've got two entrances to your room. That's mental. Did I have a look at what this was? Oh. Um. Fireball, lightning, kick, helicopter, kick, air stomp. That doesn't tell me what the code might be for your thingy. All right. Well, that's that's something anyway. Let's carry on. Hello. That's her room. Is this my old room? Yeah, it looks like it, doesn't it? Earth, wind, and fire. Ah, oh, what a band. Mum's purse. Ooh. Oh, this must be the parents' room then. Put that. Die. Stop doing that, honestly. Can't call anyone. Postcard. Mum, Dad and Sam, I am in the channel. This is my second passage through the channel. Oh, the channel tunnel. I'm on my way back from London, this time going to Brussels, Belgium. Sorry I didn't write to you on the way to London, but I was too excited about the channel. London was great. Dad, I know you've always wanted to visit, and I think you really should. You'd love it. It's pretty cool here. It's pretty cool. If you all wanted to come here, come back here as a family sometime, I guess I could be convinced. Love you all, Katie. Oh, look, and look, 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 that's the stamp we use. Doesn't say 25p anymore, but that's the sort of stamp we use. Oh my god, that's so cool. By airmail, the Royal Mail. Ah, oh, this is really good um, attention to detail in this game, it really is. Because I didn't need to say that. Let's get rid of the bloody Bible. And look at the business card. Unknown Dimension Literature. Kaz. Hmm. So where is everyone? That's what I want to know. Checking all these. Let's, looks like whoever was leaving was sort of throwing stuff around and going in and out of drawers quickly. Grabbing stuff. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not quite sure what's... Don't be about... Uh, yeah, okay. They're here. Oh my god. I heard a horrible noise there. It went thud. No, I'm not, not doing any more of that. You can go away. <laughs> I'm rather nervous. I really am. I don't think anything's going to happen, but I am really quite nervous about this game. Oops. Close all those. Oh, Mitten. 
cute cat, care cat, something like that. Caitlin, age five. Oh, bless. Can't believe they kept that. Open the hamper. Some Y fronts and a sock. Ah, over baby. Dear Jan, oh honey, let me tell you, I understand how you, Bob, and I have had down periods. Oh, she's having a down period. It's become a bit of a way of life, actually. You get used to each other, you live your own lives in the same house. The kids grow up, they go away. I'm sorry, this isn't helping, is it? Don't worry, Terry will get over whatever's distracting him. Things will go back to normal, and as for Sam being distant, that's a teenager for you. Nothing to worry about. In the meantime, though, this controlled burn, that sounds like quite the adventure, but let's cut to the chase. This new... Something they sent. Manager? No, new... I can't even read it. Oh, Ranger. That's what I want to hear about. Ranger Rick, you have to be kidding me. It's too perfect. You have to tell me everything. And pictures, I want the whole package. Wait, that sounded wrong. Ha <laughs> ha. Flirty women. Keep your chin up until Terry is out of his slump. And in the meantime, write more letters to your old friend Carol. She adores them. Carol. Okay, so she seems to be having a down period. And Terry seems to be not being so good about things. Walt Whitman, Leaves of Grass. W.W. Walt Whitman. Uh, Timline Booksellers. Take your time. I'm glad to have it in good hands. Rick. Ranger Rick. Ooh. I wonder if there's anything going on between them. Or if there was. That's something anyway, isn't it? What's in here? Light's already on. That's nice. Watercolour technique for florals and still lifes. Are you a watercolourist? Nope. Hello, hello. Oh, no pants. I don't need pants. Oh, look, a ghost game. Oh, Escape from Ghost Mansion. Now that looks like my kind of board game. Few of the shades you make encounter. Oh my god, there's, it's pointing towards ghosts, isn't it? It really is. Ah! Piss off. Don't, please don't make me jump. I don't like this. Pat, I'm scared. Have you played this? What's in here? Ah! Ah! Turn that long, honestly. There's no mirrors in this house. I guess because they couldn't be bothered to render anything, but... Okay, the water works. Comb. Right, let's look in these, shall we? Oh, we can't open these ones. That's all right. There's no bodies can fall out of it. Ooh. Hello? 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 Turn on the light. Hope nothing whispers at me again. That was really creepy last time. Grab the candle. All right. Ugh. After the honeymoon, rediscovering your spouse, personally, spiritually, sexually. Oh dear. Well, you shouldn't have to rediscover your spouse after your honeymoon, should you? What the hell's that noise? Surely after your honeymoon, you're just like, oh my god, I love you so much. Well, I've never been married. Wouldn't know. Oh, I'm leaving the light on, sod this, I'm not... Oh, hang on. Oh, I bugged through it, sorry. Bandages. No worries. What's that? Shaving cream. Toothbrush. Okay. There we go. I'll close the door, though. Scary. Right. So that's everything. In the parents' room. Um, have I been to the end here? Oh, there's something there, isn't there? Let's close that. Oh, hello. Read the notes. For. Hey Sam, do you want to see Pulp Fiction after school at the Coliseum? It came out last weekend and Todd won't shut up about it. So it's either good f uh, so either it's good or we can make fun of him for liking it. It's good. It's good, trust me. Um my mum is supposed to cook dinner for us tonight for a change, but I can just ditch out on it probably. What time? Also, isn't the movie supposed to be really violent? Am I going to barf? <laughs> no, but it's hilarious. According to Todd, this is pretty hardcore. I guess Uma Thurman gets stabbed in the heart with a heroin needle, so that's kind of hilarious. Also, something about cheeseburgers is important. Todd wants to see it again. 7.15, okay? Don't barf. Haha, <laughs> alright, see you then. Barf, love. Okay, cool. Yeah, I don't want to look out the window. Oh! Scary toilet. What's in here? Oh, hello. What was that? Lonnie rules. Yeah, well. We all knew that. Grab the cleansing powder. Powder cleanser. Caution irritant. Fine. Hello! Hello! 
Oh, holy shit. Is that blood? No, it's not. It's this stuff. Oh, thank God. Wild colour. Not tested on animals. Good stuff. Good stuff. Should we see if it splashes? It doesn't. It's because there's no water. Today. Thought that was she blood. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help. <laughs> Dying hair is weirdly intimate. I don't know if mm. I've touched someone else's scalp before. That's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked into the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy or good or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. Ah. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited. And the moment was gone. Hmm. Oh, stop drilling downstairs, honestly. Interesting, though. Interesting. Seems like she's had a bit of a um, an experience with this girl. Which is quite cool. I've been in there. Right, oh god, I don't want to go down here. Uh, oh my goodness. That drilling's getting louder. Scaring me. Fuck. Should we read this? Katie, Mum and Dad were going to make up the guest room for you to stay in over the summer, but you came home on such short notice that they weren't around to do it. You can use my room if you want. I won't be needing it anymore. Sam. What? Why won't you need it anymore? The hell? Ah, that's made me nervous, that. There's nothing outside, is there? All this about ghosts and poltergeists and things. Where's the light on this side? Uh, oh, there's a lamp. Yes. Hey, Sam, you were asking uh, what my erotic? Something. Ribbons meant. Here's a handy guide. Orienteering. Oh, okay. This means the army thinks I can find my way around. Rifle team. The army has branded me as a certified killing machine. Adventure training. I'm a burn adventurous, adventuress. Born adventurer, sorry. And no borders can hold me. The army recognises this. So if you didn't think I was cool before, now you do. Lonnie D. Composition book. Ghost hunter journal. Oh, I don't want to read this. Sighting journal. A tall shadow in the upstairs hall. When I rounded the corner, no one was there. How tall was Uncle Oscar? Note I was not wearing my glasses. Okay. Oh, shit. I'm scared now. A faint voice coming from the bottom of the stairs. I said hello, did not investigate, probably was the furnace. I've heard a faint voice. Oh god, I've got I've got goosebumps. This is horrible. Oh, poured milk from carton in fridge, it was spoiled. Pretty sure I read that spirits can sour milk. Milk was bought yesterday. Ooh, ooh, also oh, ghost milk. Ooh. Lonnie says she feels a presence in the TV. I've seriously, I've got goosebumps here. Presence in the TV room. I suddenly begin to feel cold. We build a protective pillow fort. Fart. Fort. Lonnie and I employ a Ouija board as a medi medium. Disturbing messages are conveyed from the other side. Oscar is definitely here. Oh, God. Enlisted Lonnie to stay up all night and help patrol premises, recording any signs of otherworldly presence. Lonnie reported many sightings, but all remain unconfirmed. Possible ectoplasm in attic, probably leaky, due to leaky roof. Sample taken just in case. Despite all our best efforts, we both fell asleep around 4am. All in all, a successful night! Oh, oh man. I don't like this anymore. It's all ghosts and shit. F fuck off. Was that knocking in here again? You know. Ah. Nah, I'm not happy about this anymore. Oh, peeling wallpaper. And it's freaking putting me towards the attic where there's red lights and stuff. Oh, I don't want to play this. I really don't want to play this anymore. I'm turning it down. If something loud and scary happens, at least I don't have to have it loud and scary. Okay, ready? Come on then. Come on then, you bastards. Ghost. Ghosty woasty. Ghosty woasty. No? Close the flipping door. Right, that's better. Hello! What's this? Oh, I need a tape recorder. I mean, I need a tape to put in it. Oh. Right, so Richard Patamac is... Oh, that's Ranger Rick. He's exemplary. Indispensable during the course of the prescribed burn preparation and execution. I believe his expertise and dedication is 
been the deciding factor in the success of a very complex and challenging conservation effort. Rick's contributions to daily operations have become essential. To this end, I'll be formally re- submitting paperwork for his reassignment to this facility. Signed, Janice. Mm, I wonder if she wants a bit of Rick Dick. I bet she does. I should have sent the light on earlier. Oh, that's a nice painting. That's a nice painting. Yeah, I'm not very good at painting myself. That's pretty much what happens in real life. Halloween show. The Misfits. They're awesome. Don't forget your costumes. See you there. Stygian Lounge. 10.29. So 29th of October. 9pm. There's still so much stuff. From Sometimes 94. Sometimes you just have to lie to mom and dad. Yeah, I bet. Like when Lonnie asked me to see a band with her and stay over at her friend's place in the city after. That's a lie to mom and dad situation. But it was so worth it. The girls on stage were just so loud and real and awesome. And everybody was moving together like one huge tide of sound. Between two songs, Lonnie leaned over and said, How do you like your first show? Hmm. I was so happy. I felt tears starting in my eyes. And then she up and hugged me. I think she likes you, Sam. I think she could tell. Yeah. No, I think she likes you. Does Lonnie. There was something saying Lonnie rules back then as well, wasn't there? Right, should we... Well, let's put it on on this side first. That's not for me. Now, what I want to try is putting it in this way round. Same thing. That's fine. Stick it there. What's this? Oh, it's a bowl. Nice flowers, these. Okay. Duh. Don't be a ghost. Don't be a ghost. I'm scared. I'm scared. Uh. Is this the, mu- the, the, the spare bedroom? Uh. I'm opening this. I'm putting this on. Uh, I'm opening this. Uh. Oh my god, look at that. Closing that. Oh, another hat? No. Close that. Uh, what's this? Captain Allegra. Oh, and first mate. Your costume, my costume. Ah, see, that's Lonnie. They have got a thing for each other. I don't think Sam notices it, uh, realises it yet, but she has. They've got a thing for each other. Close that. Right, it's over here. Heavens to Betsy! Let's let that fall open. So I can look on the inside. Nothing can stop me. Decide, stay away, calculate, waitress, hell, intermission, body to science, terrorist. Don't look here. What the hell? I'm sure I said something there. For Sam. Don't look here. It said something on the inside of that and I don't know quite how to see it. No, I can't can't see it. But it's some secret thing. Healthy choices. That looks like me. I can do that. Bloody hell. It's like a reverse camel toe, but enormous. A bit disgusting. KSNC. So Lonnie, holy crap, I was in the library and I noticed something in the corner. I found a secret passage. And it had oh my god, Oscar's creepy old stuff in it. Oh my god, I have to see this with skipping sixth. What? So in the closet, there's a secret cl- thing behind there? Oh my god, I don't want this. Oh, there we go. Secret passage. Okay. Oh my goodness. I really don't want there to be anything. Ah, that was very, very cool. I don't know how to close it again, but never mind. I'm leaving these lights on. I'm not turning anything off now. Did I check in there? Yeah, I did. Alright then. Back out we go. Uh, uh. Do I have to go over here? Sam's dark room. Do not enter if red lights are on. Okay. 
I don't want to. Oh, it's locked anyway. What a shame. What a crying shame that is. Right, come on then. Let's go and see the creepy hidden passageway to Oscar's creepy shit. I don't want to. I really don't. Right, how do you get back here then? So, it's in here. Oh, open the panel. <gasps> oh my goodness. This is creepy. Oh wow, I'm going fast here. Whoa, look at all this. Soft shirts, new styles, correctly priced. This is all clothes and things, isn't it? It's very fashion. Fashion oriented was Oscar. Ghost Hunters, Sam and Lonnie investigate house investigation. Oh, sorry, house investigation log. Hidden compartments found. Three in the library, upstairs hall, and foyer. Evidence of the supernatural discovered. Zero. Search continues. There's a photo with a, a thing dislodged there. So it's a panel in a corner somewhere. So this is the one in the closet. So that leads down to the library. There's one in the corner of the library. And there's one somewhere there. I don't know how to get to that. But hopefully that... Okay, right. So they're marked on my map. That's nice. Oh, my God. Forgot... So, no! No, no, no! Please don't turn off the freaking light. Don't. Please. Just turn it back on. Oh, my God. No, no, no. I don't like this. I have to go back up. 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 I need the light. Ah, oh, that's better. Right, let's have a look. For God so loved the world. Oh, come on. He gave us his only son. Oh, God. Nah, don't like the light being off. Nah, 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 nah. Open the panel. Open the panel. Open the panel. Why did I leave the light off? Oh, shit. Run, run, run. Run, run, run. Turn the light on. Don't look around. Okay. Oh, so I'm leaving that panel open so I remember I've been there. Oh, I haven't looked in these. Grab a lid. Dad's second book. The Accidental Pariah. Cool. What's that underneath it? Gosh, Dad. <laughs> oh, Dad. Very sexy. I like her. Very 80s. Oh, I like her. Right, so it's in this corner, isn't it? Loose panel. So she's put this down there. The Misfit, Saturday, October the 29th. Plus special guests, Maidenhead Stygia. Okay. At Todd's brother's place after the show, there was only a futon to sleep on, so Lonnie and I shared it. I'll go in there next. The lights went out. I was turned toward her. My eyes started to adjust. And then I could see she was looking at me, too. In the dark, she smiled. My heart was beating so fast. I rolled over. I felt so, I don't know, nervous? After a minute, she put her arm around me and was so close and whispered in my ear, I really like you. I just mm. nodded my head and I really hoped she could tell. I really hoped that she meant what I think she did. I felt like a shook up can of soda ever since. <laughs> I hope we have the chance to talk before I explode. Yeah. Well, I understand your, um. Oh my god. Turn it on, turn it on, turn it on, please turn it on. Oh god, I can't. Uh, right, run across the room and turn that one on. Shit. I'm sure I heard something there. What's here then? So this is Dad's office. No, no, it's in the hallway. It's behind here. Hello? Hello? Close that. Aha! There it is. Secret panel. The hell? 50-1. So something... Something... Turn right... Pardon me. Three times. Stop at... Full turn passing first. Stop at second number. Second stop at third number. Property of Sam. Private. Half of Sam's locker combo added. Right. Cool. Private. Do not read. Heaven at the edge of the world. We have to hurry. Stop. Queen Amazonian. You can pause and read this if you like. I'm not gonna. I'm just gonna skim them. Oh right. So the first mate was a man, and now she's a woman. Ah, uh, so it's her and Lonnie, basically, isn't it? 
Allegro is her and the first mate is uh, Lonnie. That's quite cool. All right, so that door's locked. Oops. I've got that. I've got to find the first half now. I'm not quite sure where I'm going to find it. I looked in those panels. Um, right. Let's have another look round. Maybe that number on the thing was the first half? No, it wouldn't have been, would it? I suppose I can go back out here, can I? No, I can't. Alrighty then. Get off there. So this door's still locked, isn't it? Maybe I can find another secret panel. Sort of don't want to go in there. Anything in there? No. Uh. Open one, close another, close one, open another. <laughs> right, I reckon... Ooh, what about under the stairs? No. I reckon anything that she's been hiding may well be in her room. Ah, oh, look, this is a perfect corner for a secret compartment. No? Alright. Up back up the stairs we go, then. I do with getting into that loft, actually, into the attic. But no, I think for now I need to find the secret... Uh, secret thingy. Uh, the secret combination lock. Let's go around all these. Can I open any of these? No, those all go into the room, don't they? All of this. Looks alright. Right, come on then, Sam. Where are you hiding it? Eh? What are these? Eyeball, skull... Hi-fi. It's on TV. Oh. Fuck off. Uh, so heart and shark, that doesn't mean anything. Um, maybe this is a clue. I don't have that much to drink. What a party. How many fingers am I holding up? Two. Oh, you better not have been reading my secret diary again. Here you go. Oh, that's... um. What's her face? She's hot. I like her. Uh, here you go, Mitten. Have some pate. Gross. Mrow. Okay, that, that doesn't help, does it? So, what was my... Um, so, something turn right three times. Stop at... 501. No, it's difficult, this. No idea where I'm going to find the other piece. Oh, hello. What's this? Samantha Greenbrier. Fletcher. Period 5, shop 1, metal working and engraving, C-, minus. not a challenging assignment, metal plaque for family portrait, reasonable subject, but not complex. When I said that mum and dad should be replaced with parents' names, I did not mean add them, just add them underneath. Acceptable levelling on edges, show more pride in work. Yeah, that sounds familiar. Speaking of soda cans all shook up, she drinks a lot of this stuff, doesn't she? Dr. Jitters? What's under here? I read that, didn't I? No, I didn't. Brother 150, this is the one me and my dad are building. Want to go for a ride when it's done? Hmm. I wonder if that's... Um, what's the face who did that? Uh, Lonnie. Pirate flag. Nothing in there. Now I'm just looking at everything here. Oh, there's a drawer over there. So if she's going to have stored it anywhere, I'm sure it would be in her room. Yeah. 1995. Okay, uh... What's this? Dunk. <laughs> what about under here? Nope. Right, no secret panels in her room, are there? None. What about in here? Is there anything in here I, can, I need to know? So, looking in here... Throwing threads, labyrinth, dumpty dum. Fine. Uh, hang on. Collar. Mitten. Oh, oh, that means mitten's dead somewhere. That's a shame. Holy Bible. 
Keeping it in a box, are we? Um, okay, so I need to find the second half of this locker combination, don't I? And I, I'm not 100% sure where I might find that. So to the attic, yeah. Oh, there's a secret compartment there. Ah, I didn't know there was another one. 